here with Bill Schwarz, I'll let him introduce the station, what county we're in, and what we're doing here with this big rig right here. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm Bill Schwarz with South San Joaquin County Fire Authority. Um, this is station 96 uh, here in Tracy, California. And uh, so we're here to talk about Cal OES uh, Type 2 hazmat rig they got here. I've got a map that I'll put it in the links when we post this video, but uh, you're in, what do you call it, We're area four? Region four. Region yeah. four. And I guess there's 61 teams, but then some more that have added on, so. Yeah, so these are all the typed hazmat teams throughout the state of California. And then Cal OES um, has 12 additional um, type two hazmat teams. Okay, and this being one of them. Correct. Okay. Yeah. The state of California realized that there was gaps in the hazmat response um, throughout the state. So um, uh, the decision was made by Cal OES to purchase the 12 type two uh, hazmat vehicles um, and put two in each region. There's six Cal OES regions in the state. And here in region four, like I said, there's this one here and there's also one in Modesto. Um, and then in 2018, uh, the decision was made um, by the Cal OES to upgrade uh, all the vehicles from type two to a type one with the equipment and training of 17 personnel on each team. Yeah, FireScope is, uh, they're the committee that decide um, what the, uh, the standard equipment list is for each type team throughout the state. Um, so they're the one to make the recommendations on uh, the equipment that we carry. Okay. This compartment is our high risk Low frequency stuff that we carry are A, B, C kits, um, overpack drums, grounding and bonding kits, our flaring kits, Midland uh, kit. <clears throat> and then moving along here um, is uh, a lot of our decon stuff is right here. We carry a couple of generators that could power the whole rig um, if, if need be. Some more uh, of our uh, absorbents. Um, our level A suits are up there. And then this compartment right here is all uh, PPE stuff, level B suits, helmets, knee pads, boots, um, and that sort of thing. For, this, uh, for the, these rigs, uh, the state of California is the one that purchases all the equipment. If we use it on an incident and something gets damaged or uh, destroyed or whatever, then uh, we replace it through our budget. Yeah, the trays were built in. Um, the box was kind of trial and error. Um, these these uh, boxes right here, uh, these plastic ones we found were breaking quite a bit. In fact, uh, most of ours were broken, and so we were switching, we're slowly switching to the heavier duty Rubbermaid containers. They're a lot more durable. Come over in this compartment is all our metering and monitoring equipment. This is uh, what I call the high dollar compartment. It carries uh, all our um, state-of-the-art state equipment for, uh, for meter, metering and monitoring. Um, two of the biggest things we have is we have two mass spec devices. We have um, a Regaco Ramon and a, um, a Smith's Detection Hazmat, hazmat ID um, for FTIR. Yeah, so one of the things we carry uh, for our, our wet chemistry is the, uh, the HazCat kit. Um, we use this pretty regularly for our uh, unknowns because when it gets down to it, um, um, there, there's you know, restrictions on your mass spec devices um, and you have to get down to your basic wet chemistry. And this is a kit that we use um, and it works really well. Over here in this, this compartment is just miscellaneous equipment for uh, like our cow gases, that sort of thing that we use for our monitors and other sampling uh, equipment. Uh, this compartment is probably our most used uh, compartment because it carries all our plugging and patching. And in our area, we get a lot of um, fuel spills from vehicle accidents, a lot of um, ruptured fuel tanks, that sort of thing. So we use this quite a bit in this compartment. One of the great products we have found that, use, that we use quite a bit and found that works really well is the, the golf ball and the football. Um, they're um, uh, activated by water and there's a chemical reaction that makes this, uh, lo it looks just like a Nerf football. It makes it expand. You, you put it into wherever the, the leaking drum or pipe is and it'll um, expand and stop the leak. So we find these work, work really well and we use these quite a bit actually. And over here we have our um, SCBAs, some medical equipment, um, lighting, and then our just our, our um, basic hand tools are in this compartment right here. Good.
like and subscribe so we can continue to help hazmat teams and first responders every day. See you on scene with Hazmat Roadshow TV.